<laughs> Welcome to a very special Halloween episode. I wanted to share with you guys one of the spookiest things I've ever come across as law enforcement. It's not the most disgusting or bloody or gory thing that I've ever dealt with, but it's probably an incident that has scared me more than any other incident, at least for a few moments. Back when I was still military police, I was stationed in Germany for a few years, and the base I was on was actually a former Nazi military base, which we had taken from the Nazis in 1940. Don't know, but World War II, obviously. Now, this particular base, apparently like many other former Nazi military bases, had a lot of tunnels underneath the buildings. And what I would often do on the night shift was I'd get down there and I'd start patrolling. I'd, I'd be looking for people committing crimes out of the way. You know, I'd be snooping around. I'd be sniffing out the old crime. You see this nose? This is a crime-sniffing nose. There's a lot of nose there. Sniffed out a lot of crime. Okay? So, on the particular evening of this event, I go down to those tunnels and I start doing my little snoop. I'm starting snooping around. I'm opening some doors. I'm checking some things out. And I start going down a long hallway and I see something at the other end. And I'm thinking, what is that? Because that was not there last time I was down there. And all I can describe to you guys is a pile of pink. That's what it looked like. I couldn't focus on it. So, of course, I start moving towards it. I'm a curious individual. I want to know what this thing is that I can't focus on at night in the tunnels underneath a former Nazi military installation. And as I get close, it suddenly just comes into focus. It's a pile of faces. I'm sorry, I don't think I, uh, I said that right. It was a pile of faces. Just, just piled up, just, just stacked up, like, just, just, just a, a big old pile, just a pile of pink faces. And I'm over there like, oh, hell no. What is a pile of faces? doing in the tunnels at night underneath a former Nazi military installation. These faces were not there the last time I went down to those tunnels. They were not. Explain that to me. Actually, I'll explain it to you because I was there. I was eyeballing these things pretty fierce. I couldn't imagine why there'd be a bunch of faces. And my heart's pounding, my adrenaline's going. And it takes a moment for me to realize these are CPR dummy masks. These are the rubber faces that you put on CPR dummies for training. Someone had just taken a few boxes and just, just put them there for anyone to stumble across, just a, a mound of them. And I found them. And I'll tell you what, I did not go back in those tunnels for probably at least two weeks. And by the time I went back, they were gone. Someone said, hey boss, look at all these faces here. We should, we should probably put them somewhere. Well, we yeah, just just take them and put them down in the basement. <laughs> just just throw them down there. Just a big old pile. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just uh, we'll just dump them down there. Does that sound good? Well, yeah, we'll we'll pick them up afterwards. We'll just grab them whenever it's convenient for us. I d I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, that was probably the biggest spook I ever got during my time as law enforcement. Not really sure if I should be relieved or disappointed that it wasn't just a pile of real human faces. I'm gonna go with relieved. But, good God, imagine how good this story would be if the faces were real. But, that's all I got. That's everything. That's the story. I hope you guys have a fantastic Halloween. And until the next time, be good, stay safe.